Well, Zoran Planinic, uh, first of all, congratulations on getting to the semifinals, and also uh, I'm glad that you're back because you, you weren't able to play in the second game feeling under the weather. Yeah, I had a little bit stomach problem and a high temperature, but now I oh, I feel great now, and um, I, I play good till I have strength. After that, I go a little bit down, but, you know, every day is better for me. You know, you really provided a lift when you came in in the first half. Did you sense that, that your team needed needed you to step up and do something? Of course. I mean, we have a team with the 12 great players, you know, so everybody is important. You know me not playing the last game. I just want to go in and... I don't know how much energy I have. I want to spend it everything so the guys can see that I can do it, you know, to give them confidence. So I hope, you know, today was a great game for us, for our confidence. And I think tomorrow game is, you know, a crucial game for us. So we have to play the best we can. Talk about Croatia because Eurobasket 2005 was a huge disappointment, no question. For you individually, yeah. as you got injured, when you guys looked like the best team there and then things kind of very controversial exit in the quarterfinals but but you've kind of been able to put that behind you now and you're you're looking like one of the best teams in Europe and maybe the world again you know what 2005 we were young you know we had a very good team but young team not experienced team you know I think our older player was I think Giricek he was like 28 at the time so I think every year going by I think we, we're getting better you know and um, I hope guys in the future are going to stay together because in our national team, we have a lot of guys who like quit the team. So I hope these guys can stay together and bring the Croatian basketball where it belongs, like Barcelona 92 Olympics when Draja and Kukoc and Dino Raja was there. Yeah. So I hope in the future we can do that. It's, uh, I think it says a lot, though, about your program that you could have a coach like Yasmin Repesha and he has a lot of players, a lot of talent to draw on. I mean, it's you know you can lose some quality players and... It's, it, you have a very exciting team to watch. It's true. That, that's one of our strengths. The, the same thing. Before every game, Coach Repers has said, let's go play defense because, you know, if we get three fouls, we have the guy who can step in. So that's one of our strengths. And I think, you know, I, I think the sky is the limit for us. We just have to stay together. Now, the next game, you've already mentioned it, is the big one. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts looking ahead? It's either Germany or Brazil, right? Yeah. I mean, both teams are tough teams, especially Germany with Dirk and uh, Chris Kamen. So it's going to be very excited. But if we play our, our system, if we play like we do our mentality, so, you know, hard-nosed in the defense and very rational in offense, pass the ball and get the open player, I don't think we're going to have a problem. We just have to play team defense. Okay. I know I always focus on the offense. That's, that's my weakness. I'd never make a great coach. But I wanted to ask you, Marco was – he was shooting the ball, and the ball was going in and out, in and out, and I just kept thinking those things are going to start falling eventually, and he ended up leading all scores with 17 points. That, you know what? Marco is a special player. You know, 